my way. So I set up shop and hired the most talented people I know, my friends. We do it all. Make it bigger, make it badder, make it awesome. For me, it's all about the cake. <laughs> Dude, this week is like literary craziness. Literally literary craziness. Okay. Yes. It's all books and toys. We're doing a cake of Liberty's Blueprint. So we're making a cake for Professor Meyerson, who wrote a book about the Federalist Papers. This is like his book launching party. So what we're doing is like a big, giant book. That's the cover of his book. And then we're doing edible copies of the Federalist Papers as a base. This is a printer that we bought just so that we could print edible ink onto edible paper. The ink is made out of food coloring. This is a test copy, and it's going to be part of the Federalist Papers. Yay! I got it to print and make it look like an old paper. Federalist papers were written by Hamilton and Madison. And I think there were a couple written by John Jay. They were written to help with public opinion. Some people weren't down with the Constitution. Uh, you know, these guys were, and they wanted everybody to be into it. Normally we do a book, we just do like a top, you know, like one piece that goes around, but since this is like a, what's this, a dust cover? Do like a piece of ivory and a piece of red around, and then after that, I'm gonna put a thin piece of fondant all the way over top. You know, in the past, maybe we would have made a smaller book, but now we're like, you know, we've, we've done that, so let's make a bigger book and see how that works out. If we just came to work every week and made the same cakes, it would get really boring. Yeah, it was a pretty difficult job there. It turned out all right. Fairly happy with it. There is a professor at the University of Baltimore. In celebration of his book being published, he has asked us to replicate the book itself. It's going to be pretty huge. Oh, good. It's the biggest book we've ever done, for sure. And it's not like a book with a title on it. It's like super easy. It's a book with these incredibly intricate portraits. And it's hard. Anna's going to paint the whole thing by hand. I know she can paint like crazy, but like this is a big job. Painting is taking a little longer than I expected. It's a very large painting. Anna hand painted the cover of the book, which featured two portraits, Thomas Jefferson and Hamilton. Which one's Madison and which one's Hamilton? Uh, I think that's Madison. I should really know who these people are. Was it John Adams? Hamilton's on the, do you have a $20? Is it $20? I'm pretty sure that's Madison. I thought Franklin was on the 20 What president's on the $20 bill? Jackson. 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 Jefferson's on the penny. Hamilton, what's Hamilton no. on? Wasn't Jefferson? Hamilton. Yes. Oh, that's right. Right? Yeah, same guy. George Washington? Hamilton. Madison. Right now I'm drafting out the Federalist paper. Underneath the book, we're gonna reprint some of the actual Federalist papers. So I'm just trying to figure out where everything's gonna go. The Federalist papers were very, very, very detailed. So Anna printed out on rice paper the Federalist papers, tiled them so we could have this gigantic base with pieces of paper that all kind of fit together. And then we had an edible Federalist Papers. Duff, look. Holy crap, that's edible? Yeah. Edible. Let me see. Wow. Aw, look at you, Anna. 
You're like a professional. Yeah. The cover of the Liberty's Blueprint book was incredibly complicated because decorators had to figure out what color to lay down first and then when to do the hand painting and what needed to be masked off. It was almost like stenciling something. You know, you had to kind of figure it from the back layer up. Perfect. That was awesome. Mary did a wonderful job piping it. So now we're ready for the last step. It's also the scariest. It was very stressful to get the cake on the base because it's a one-shot deal. I think it'll be OK. You know, if something got dinged or nicked or cracked, that's pretty much it. So when they put it on the base, I think everyone kind of felt that tension. If we had to do it over, we would have to do it over. There? Oh, this way. There you go. Whoa! Perfect. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yay! All right. There's really no better way to get it on here than just to drop it, you know? A lot of times, we'll kind of, you kind of put one side of a cake down and then pull out, but these edges are, are pretty fragile. And I was afraid if I put too much weight on the front of it, these corners would crack or the cake would crack in here. That's the way to do it. Liberty's blueprint cake was worthy of the importance of that part in our country's history. The painting that Anna did to replicate the cover of the book was redonkulous. I think just the, the size of that cake made it really interesting. Just the amount of detail that went into this because it was so large was pretty incredible. It was pretty amazing. I was actually incredibly impressed with that cake. Where are you going to go? I'm doing ballet. Do you have it, Anna? Yeah. <laughs> OK. So we're headed down to the University of Baltimore School of Law with Dr. Meyerson's book on the Federalist Papers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, enjoy, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely incredible. Uh, <laughs> did you all see this? <laughs> this is far beyond anything I could have imagined. I'm absolutely thrilled. The students behind me all uh, are in my contracts class, and uh, the contract I signed with uh, with Duff, I showed them and asked them whether I thought it was a, they thought it was a fair contract or not. It's actually one of the shortest contracts I've ever seen, where Duff basically promises to make an awesome cake. He absolutely fulfilled his contract and gave me a truly awesome cake, no question about it.